The enduring myth that Ringo Starr wasn't even the best drummer in the Beatles, allegedly said by John Lennon, has been debunked time and again. A simple Google search reveals that Lennon never made such a remark about his bandmate. The misquote actually originated from a BBC comedy show in 1981, but has since been mistakenly attributed to Lennon, unfairly casting Starr in a negative light and diminishing his reputation. Right, just one thing you need for the LP, Ringo Starr. Ringo Starr. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe Ringo Starr wasn't the best drum in the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, maybe he wasn't the best drum in the Beatles, but he's a name. <laughs> Ringo Starr. Yeah, all right, all right. We don't have to have Ringo Starr. Oh, good, good. good yeah. Despite this, Ringo Starr is widely recognised as one of the most talented drummers of his generation. Ringo, however, was not the only one to face criticism. The band, transformative in the music industry, was harshly critiqued by Quincy Jones, who worked with Starr on his 1970 solo debut, Sentimental Journey. Jones, a legendary producer, shockingly called the Beatles the worst musicians in the world, in a 2018 interview with The New Yorker, singling out Paul McCartney's bass skills as the worst he ever heard, and Starr's drumming in particularly unflattering terms. Jones recalled a frustrating studio session with Starr, which involved the drummer struggling with a part of a song for hours. After suggesting Starr take a break, Jones called in jazz drummer Ronnie Verrill, who completed the task in minutes. When Starr returned and listened to the playback, he said it didn't sound so bad after all. Jones snapped back that it wasn't Ringo playing and that they got someone else into play while he was away, although he added a note of personal affection for Starr, calling him a great guy. These comments by Jones, reflecting his candid and unfiltered perspective, were bound to stir controversy. But did they bother the two Beatles themselves? McCartney's recounting of a reconciliatory call from Jones after the comments became public went like this. I said, hey Quince, Paul, how you doing man? I'm doing great. How are you, you motherfucker? I'm just jiving with him. Soon Jones was stating his case for misrepresentation. Paul, I didn't really say that thing. I don't know what happened, man. I never said that. You know I love you guys. Yeah, I know you do, Quince. McCartney's lack of reciprocating his love for Jones indicates his actual thoughts about the non-apology. It implies that Macca did not trust the notion that the magazine had duped Jones, but remained coolly unconcerned about the issue in any case. He is a Beatle. <laughs>